And I'm here. Sorry for the wait. I had a lot to do today. Before I got to settle down. It is showtime, everyone. Hey yo, Knox, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Welcome, welcome. Sorry for the wait. In the flesh, the digital flesh, I should say. <laughs> oh. Good. Having a swell Monday evening, I'm glad to hear it. I hope I'll be able to entertain you for the next three or four hours as we finally finish this cyberpunk action game. But first, let me go ahead and post on all the Discord servers I'm part of that were alive. Oh my god, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Welcome to LOL's time. I think I've seen you on Twitter, but just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Lawler Hicks. I am an artificial intelligence on the run from a BBS shitposting shit text board called Danger You. Now I live here in Twi on Twitch. So, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> you always follow sci-fi tubers, cyberpunk enthusiasts? Well, I'm glad to hear it. There's quite a few of us around, believe it or not, although I'm not the most obvious example. Other, some uh, other VTubers are a lot more clearly cyberpunk based than I am. But we all have our own style, and that's what matters. Now, if you'll give me just a second here. Oh, I, I as one, like to follow my kind. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I hear that. I totally hear that. We, uh, cyberpunk AI, we, uh, AI, you need to stick together, am I right? <laughs> uh, one second, please. Promote yourself. Popping. At least I think this is the finale. I could be wrong. You're not an AI by a hacker. I see, I see. You're like the meat version of us then. <laughs> I kid. We also respect hackers in this channel. Whether VTuber ones or ones in meat space, so to speak. Let me just finish up here and we'll get going. Uh, BFGC. Streaming promo here. <laughs> Doing that, and with that out of the way, all my socials have been posted, my Twitter has been updated, ad has been run, so there should be no more um, pre rolls. Let's get going, Mizumi. Why can't I hear anything? Oh, are my sound options are sound options fucked up again? Give me a second, please. Oh. Hmm. Oh, ho, ho, I see what went wrong. One second. One second, chat. I got to unfuck something really quick. There we go. 
Ha-ha! Now then, let's try this one more time. Actually, got to go ahead and turn this off as well. Reduce lag. Go over here. Hit play again. China Hero Project, Game Capture, Anno. <laughs> Much better, I think. Don't you agree? <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Let's get down to business to finish this game so I can play something that's better. I have one more side mission left to do and it's in the next stage. But I believe that when I enter this... I believe when we enter this stage, there's no going back, so I'll need to probably... What I'll probably need to do is to head back outside and finish some stuff really quick. I have 87 Grom bits. There's not much. I can't really do anything with this, can I? Pretty sure that this is the this could be the end of the game or at least fairly close to it let us explore every nook and cranny to make sure to make sure if we have to play again next month so our next week so be it but I think it's time to call an end to this game all right let me just set up some things here really quick What the? Oh. Here we go. to adjust some of my settings here to make sure that I could hear as well as be heard. I'm gonna raise the volume of the game a little bit. All right, we're good. I think we're good. We're good. We can't go the other way. We can go this way and go through. Oh, actual human guards this time. That's different. Is that a zombie in the background? Who's that? The fuck is going on here? Alright, uh, that's funny. I didn't realize he could actually. I didn't realize they could actually hit their own men to those guns. That's kind of hilarious, not gonna lie. Turn on the security system. That's not gonna do shit though. Oh boy, that's a lot of troopers. Uh. My bad. I didn't need to activate that. Oops. I have temporarily forgotten how to play the game.
Don't you guys have guns or something? Holy shit. I spoke to you soon. That's a weird pause just now. Energy beams now. Shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Healing? That's cheating. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ow, 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 ow. That did absolutely nothing. Glorious. I'm about to die again. Really should have put more points into that insta kill move. Because now I'm about to be insta killed. Good thing I got so many restoratives. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, was it? He said, they say, after. You for your brother. The fucking monkey? That's a talking monkey. Yes. Why is the monkey helping us now? Dr. Monkenstein. Something isn't right. You think? They seem to have known we'd come here. Tell me about Brian the moment we met. Alright. So, what are these people up to? Invite us over to tour the place? I really don't know. More importantly, why there's so many dead bodies all over the place? That one's missing a head, even. Now it's kind of fucked up, too. Oopsie whoopsie, fucky wucky. Uh, what the fuck is that? I have no idea what that is, honey. But we we're aiming to find out, it looks like. Oh, we could fall to our deaths on accident. That is also a thing that is possible, evidently. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a, uh, a secret around here. A thing that you, you would not realize that you could otherwise climb. And indeed, if you look in here really closely, you can see that there's actually a top section. I think it was this section over here, but the problem is, is it's, I, it's not letting me grab on to hold anything. I know you can go there eventually. The question is how. Because you need it to get over this area. Man, I have like no restoratives left. I spoke too soon. Look at all this stuff we'll have to backtrack through later, chat. We have to wall climb this too, but I can't right now. In fact, I'm probably not even supposed to be in this section yet. So that's good. Alright. Can we jump up there? No? Fujita. Fujita. Back upstairs, then. I guess we're going here for now. More platforming. The most platforming we've had in this game thus far. 
Oh, he's gotta be fucking kidding me. There's no way I can climb that yet. A magma zone. Woo! So it's just gonna get fucky. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was admittedly very satisfying just now. <laughs> Anything over here? No, but this is the closest we've ever gotten to our character so far. Literally. Check out all these wire 3D wiring and stuff. Ah, uh, platforming. Oh shit. The sense of the scale in this game, though, is great. Woo! That was close. Ah! Shit! Shit, shit, shit! And I'm dead. Thankfully, it just returns us to the... What is this lag? Coming from no... Coming from out of where nowhere. Slowly. He... They say as they... Impatiently run themselves through the level. Endangering their life. Repeatedly. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm not going slowly about this at all, am I? Okay. Got it. Got it. Ooh, blood vines. No idea what that's used for, but I'll take it. Okay. Looks like we didn't need to use the dash at all. We just had to have some patience. Something I'm unfortunately not exactly known for. Gee, who is running upstairs? How are we still finding junk all the way down here? Movable chair. Cracked motherboard? Awesome. You could find a golden. Those things are important because they have the golden chips that you need. Did you turn off data transmission? No. There. Receiving any data. Never mind. I'll figure it out. Hmm. No data from the ground system anymore. Gee. I wonder what that can mean. The hell are you complaining about? Old guy. He's gone absolutely insane. Can't enter through there. So this confirms my suspicion that we need an upgrade to be able to scale those walls. God goodness knows when we're gonna get that upgrade though. Oh my god. No. Focus this fire. Ow! I still can't believe they actually can shoot their own men by accident. That's kind of funny to me. Why didn't the drone explode? <laughs> that never gets old though. When you get up there, not from that direction. That's for damn sure. Nothing there. Can't climb on that just yet. Maybe we need magnets or something? Okay. 
Oh, shit. Friendly fire, you say? Yes, indeed. How you doing, Christian? Welcome to the stream. I don't know if this will be the last Anno stream, but it's not a very long game. You first. Motherfucker. Ow, shit. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ow, fuck you. Okay, using the healing I healing item. You're doing okay? That's good to hear. <laughs> A CCTV. Bennett memor memorist memorister. More gold. So maybe we can actually Cry. build a super weapon. They've spotted me. I thought I was well hidden. How did they see me? I, I thought wrong, kid. Died. They'll probably find me soon. I hope I can get out alive. My name is Ryan. I love my family. Ryan, you so stupid son of a bitch. Why did you have to? Ryan, where are you? Enter a down, secret underground base. We, I'm pretty sure we raised you better than this. I guess if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have gotten this huge ass adventure though. And to do this, uh, mem this uh, access card bullshit. Can't believe we're playing Doom, except it's, you know, In 2D, 2.5D. Check mail. Alright, we're saved. Is there a boss fight here? Is that what's going on? What the fuck did I just do? Are those nuclear isotopes? understand what the point of this is. Hey, Corn Man is still oh. here. We corn don't feel so comfortably here. Fucking hell. Once again with the corn juice. Well, whatever, dude. I really need... I really need health right now, so I'll purchase all the corn you got. Five corn juices should do. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Hey, this guy is alive still. <laughs> Dead red ball monster just... That guy? No idea. What did you find? Level 2 access card. What red ball monster? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Whoa, wait, I just realized something. There's bodies, there's some, some yellow stuff here on the ground covered with what looks like a lab coat. Do they like disintegrate or something? I wonder what's going on with this guy then. I guess something escaped. That's the impression I'm getting anyway. Alright, so we got the next key card, which allows us to open these doors here. What's uh, going on here now? Oh Zero shit! Six has been located. A ninja. Plan D5. All that's. Oh 
show you unstoppable. Ow. Ow. Oh shit. Okay, that was actually really cool. Not gonna lie. I'm surprised that they're getting stunned. about all that corn juice shit. No, you're not. Shut up. into a ball of blood. Ah, oh, she ran off. They always tend to for some reason. Who are you? Data collected. What data? Proceeding to next task. What do you mean? What's your purpose? Final task? Deliver equipment. Proceed to resource department. Oh, sh I'll show you a resource department. Service is data acquired. Mission complete. Seems like it. Let's try out the new gear. Oh, now we got magnet boots or something like that. Gelcor fiber. And 3,000 credits, no less. Cool. We can scale walls. Alright, so back where we came, there was a very specific... Wall that we could not scale. At the very beginning, and there is another boss fight over there. If I call it correctly. Yeah, it was right here actually. I think it was at the end. Was it at the end of this room? It wasn't at the end of this room. It was in one of these rooms, though. Let's go back here really quick. Yeah. There's another level 2 door in the other area. Alright. We'll go back there after we explore this side, then. Because over there in the far corner is the next part of the mission and we don't want to do that just yet. There is one la one side mission left in this game and it's in this stage somewhere. I just need to find it. It's like a zombie in the corner there or something. Kind of freaky.
got eight talents now. We can raise expansion pack, which we don't really need, or iron shield, which increases our defense. We got more grombits, which I'm definitely going to just spend on these things. Or I should save it for insta kill plus. I also need to check to see if I have enough uh, junk to build. Oh, we might. Three, two, and one. Alright, we have one. We have enough of these gold chips. Two build a super weapon. Let's go ahead and teleport back to Noctis. There's also another level 2 door next to the corn man. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I'll head back there in a second, in a bit then. Thanks for keeping out, Christian. Should be over <sighs> dismantle, dismantle all. Awesome. Now, was it this one? It's not these, these are the weaker ones. They were back, actually, in Sco in uh, Scop City. Let's head back there really quick. Now, the last time I tele the I'm teleporting from the underground base over there in Scop City, which means that my car is back in Scop City. So I just realized, is my car gonna even be here to allow me to? Yep, my car is here. Right there, in fact. Go back to Scop City, and the store up and store over here has all the good shit. It is. I can actually buy two or three or two other cars in the game using my side of cyber echoes I've been collecting. I just haven't yet because I haven't collected all of them yet and because I don't want to yet. I'll show them to you though, since we're here anyway. Check this out. You see that car? Looks like a cat. The cat mobile. Okay. Can buy the cat car. And this is the car I currently own. Or I can buy this uh, fancy new one. This fancy new sports car. At the moment, I don't really see the purpose in doing so, even though it looks so cute. I'm actually quite fond of my Queen Natuka. Hey Steel, I hate it when characters just pull and move out while driving. I bet like 20 bucks the Dempsey Joe strolls to Pirillo Park. Yeah, probably. 
I can't actually imagine parallel parking in China. I love this engineer. I have a soft spot for engineering girls like this one. Look at her. Isn't she cute? She even has those little uh, cyber hair buns in her hair. Now then. Oh, fuck. I have enough gold pieces to craft one of these weapons, but I don't have enough of this. Well, I can... I have enough. I don't. I need one more of these, or eight more of these. So I'll either need to run around the game searching gar literal trash to see if I get lucky enough to pull one of them. Well, actually, there's no what if. There, that's just that's literally what you have to do in this game. That's why there's an entire tech tree here, which I didn't spend any time any uh, points on, just to increase your luck. Engineer shopkeeper girls are great, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the woman I saved earlier. Uh, the uh, refugee I saved that last time who has a uh, robot dog. What the fuck? So, her robo dog is sick. She's convinced that's a real dog and she wants to go see a vet for it. I just told her to go take it to a mechanic. She threw her dog at a cat on a fence. The dog fell down, broke its leg, and then spit out a piece of metal. <gasps> this interaction is so weird. I don't know, this game has a lot of things that, oh, has a lot of ideas that you could tell were not completely freshed out. Uh, but they tried, I guess. It's not exactly a bad game, it's just kind of disappointing in a lot of ways, I should say. It also low-key kind of sucks that in order to find items to like... Eh. In order to get items that you need to build things in this game, you need to find them in garbage. That in itself is kind of fucked up. Portable skin. Um, okay, so basically in this game, there the world was ravaged by something called the Mechanica virus, which is a virus which literally replaces all your fleshy bits with organic with robotic bits. And there's no cure for the Mechanica virus, but you can deal with the Mechanica virus by replacing your robotic parts with parts that look humanish. So this portable skin is literally a uh, imitation skin that you put over your robotic bits. Hence the name portable skin. It's also why you see so many of these android-ish people around. Half the time you can't tell if they're actually robots or if they're just humans that have inorganic parts. This is a very, actually a very dystopic post-apocalyptic world that this game takes place in. And you could tell, the developer said that the one, they wanted the um, story to be the uh, world building to be the central point of the central focus of the game. But um, it's kind of hit or miss. A lot of miss, unfortunately. But you can tell that there's a lot of effort. There's a lot of heart put into the game. It's just, it's missing a lot of polish. It's very rushed and it has just, I feel like they had four different creative designers, all of whom wanted something different for this game. And what they have is bits and pieces of those things that don't go far enough. Like, 
the part that they got the best so far, it feels like, is the combat. But there are other things like the crafting system is kind of unnecessary and kind of annoying. Um, you don't actually even need to really buy new weapons and stuff. I've been I've only changed my weapons like twice so far, and that's from stuff that the game just flat out gave me for completing quests. Some of the stuff that they gave me was very underpowered compared to the starting gear anyway. And there's a system where you can add chips and whatnot to improve your um, items, but there's only like a few of them at a time, and some of them are just a questionable utility. I don't know, just things like that. I get the impression that some of these characters that you see in the game are actually o are the OCs of like backers or something, because they're too unique to be regular NPCs. But they don't have na most of them don't have names, and they don't really do anything except have a few lines or X cameos, like the characters from Valhalla are in this game, Dana Zane. And Jill Valent and Jill uh, Stingway, but I also wondered if, like, say, this girl here is actually a character from a different Cyberpunk game. Like, I don't know. What if we run into like V or something from Cyberpunk 2077? Isn't this the engineering lady? What is she doing out here? Wasn't she inside earlier? Like, see these kids here? They just look... They're too uniquely designed to have just been regular NPCs. The same with this character here with the interesting hair. And also, this feels... There's a few people in the Steam community forums asking if there's a quest... <laughs> that they have forgot to finish because she's telling you about Iceweed, which symbolizes eternal happiness. And if she gets these flowers, she can make her dad happy. But even though you can get the Iceweed, you can't actually give it to her. <laughs> so what's the point of this ent entire interaction? Is this a side quest that the developers forgot to finish coding or something? Little things like that. So now I don't know. How long is it going to take me to find the, the remaining garbage that I need just to craft those weapons? I guess what I could do is just keep going in and out of some of the one, keep going in and out of Margarita, and keep having the items respawn until RNG gives them to me. That's kind of cheap, right? But since I kind of know that I'm near the end of the game already, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do that a few times. Just to uh, make the ending of the game a little bit easier, I guess. Because there's definitely been a sudden difficulty uh, tweak in the game. It definitely feels a lot more difficult now in these current missions. I actually starting to feel undergeared, if you can believe that. I wonder, actually, I think Harbortown, the guy here, actually sells some of the items I might need. So let's go visit there really quick. And meanwhile, then we go get a drink, some iced tea to drink.
I am back. Hey, Winter. Welcome to the stream. Yes, yes. This might be the last we'll get to see of our cyberpunk waifus. It depends entirely on how well I do tonight. I want to... I got some more gold pieces, so what I want to do instead is craft at least one of these weapons to use. Because I can tell from how strong they are that these are the end-tier weapons already. I wish I could do some more boxing matches for money. Corn man. The game's not going to let me <laughs> uh, fight anymore, though, unfortunately. See, this would have been nice if they really fleshed out this arena so it's more like the Elder Scrolls where you have to fight through all of these different combatants to get free stuff, to get cool stuff. Hey, Evan boy, how are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, let's go hey, say hi to Dana Zane one more time. Eh. See, you wouldn't know that, they, that this character and Jill are from a different game entirely if you hadn't played them before. You could also tell that the developers played Valhalla, because the reason why Dana Zane is on is in this town is specifically because there's a boxing arena next door, and she used to be a martial artist. They even have a cyber corgi here. Better cameo than in Yik, to be honest. Yeah, no kidding, right? What did she? What? Wait, who was who cameoed in Yik? Which one of them? Okay. Thank God, this guy sells some of the stuff that I need. The only problem is I don't remember now what I need. Um... Yeah, shit, I forgot. I didn't pay attention. I don't know which of these, how much of these I need now. Um... But yeah, he sells all the stuff I need, so... <sighs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, let me check here. Shaking booty. You would be interested in booty, wouldn't you, Steel? <laughs> let's, uh, let's mantle some items really quick. Dismantle all. Thank you. Let's sell some garbage. these things here which I can't tear apart for E9 credits let's see now alright so don't need aluminum I probably need eight of these. Let me just look this shit up online. I so said I'm not flying back all the way to Scop just to figure out how much these cost. Um, the problem is, I need mutation and barely has any guides online. Not even Game Packs has any. Believe it or not. You dive into a party member's brain and the bar is just there? That's really dumb. Somehow I'm not surprised though. Okay. I'll post the locations. Walk through side missions. So according to this, yeah, I'm about four look uh, four four maps away from finishing the game. 
this guy has a bo has all the missions and boss fights, but it doesn't have. It also has Cyber Neko plus locations and post locations, but it doesn't have how much it costs to build these weapons, which annoys me. But the Let's Play I watched didn't know Valhalla and got confused because she looked exactly like the girl you're inside. And the robot from 2049 ROM is there and says one thing. Well, that's sad. Uh, Anna Mutation. Combat. Come on. If your weapon style and any mutation them. I know there's a particle cannon in this game, that's kinda wild. Let's look through here in the Steam community forums really quick. I'm surprised that they even made guides for an mutation them in the Steam forums. Although there's only like seven or so. I don't think any of these talk about. Did I take a screenshot of it at least? Please tell me I took a screenshot of it. These screenshots. Because. Oh my god. Okay, combine items. No. Buy items. No. What about this guy? Do you sell anything? That's weird. Corn shop. You can either purchase these for a lot of money, or you can craft the best guns and the best weapons in the game. More or less. These are not very good compared to what. Yeah, there was ceramic. <laughs> I know this guy sells everything I need actually. He sells ceramic and carbon and capacitors. I need all three of these, but the thing is, I only have enough gold to craft one weapon. So I need to decide what one weapon I'm going to craft. Problem is, I don't know how many of these I need. I think I need eight carbon, but I don't know how many ceramics I need. And I guess if I want to swallow my pride, I could just fly back to Scop. Check what's how much I need for each thing. And then fly back here. And then... Ceramic is one of them, yeah. I also need carbon. But I just don't know how much I need is the problem. And how much to buy. Actually, I have a lot of money. I could probably just buy all of his stock, right? You just need one ceramic? Really? Huh. What happened? Wait, what just happened? Okay, that was weird. Um, I think I broke the game, chat. I broke the camera, at least. There it is. There's my character. Yeah, I, I, I fucked up the camera. Somehow. And I can't... 
see her now. This game is fucking cursed, I swear to god. Holy shit. <laughs> Ceramic one, you said? Okay, ceramic one. And I know I need eight of these. You know, actually these aren't that expensive. And I, I don't know how many capacitors I need to be honest. Or transistors. How'd you know I needed only one ceramic though? Oh man, that's expensive actually. No, there isn't, believe it or not. That's another thing this game does not have, which is sorely which would be quite useful. Story dialogue, archives, tutorial videos, intelligence index. And that's another thing. What the hell is the intelligence index? What is this for? I have not received any sort of intelligence this whole game. There is a lot of guides here for your enemies though yeah Is it just me, or does Anne's face feel like it has more glowy bits than usual? But, um... Yeah. It's nice to know at least there's a place where you can just purchase all this garbage. So you don't need to just look for it in, gar in trash bins. But also that means that it's even point it's even less point to putting point there's even less point to putting any point skill points into luck because if you could just buy the stuff, why even bother searching garbage cans for them? Yeah, so that was tr that's what I was trying to do too. <laughs> and there is none, unfortunately. I could certainly run around Margarita this whole time, uh, checking trash cans for more garbage to open up. And that would work. I gotta say, I never get tired of these cutscenes. They're really not fun, they're really nice to look at. Very nice to look at. Another perfect parallel park. And we are back at Joy's Weapon Shop. Craft weapons. Oh, okay, so it was 10. And now is the moment of truth. What do I spend my money on? The twin blades? Or the big uh, greatsword? So I only have enough gold to buy one of them. And the gold must be found. I can't just buy the gold, unfortunately. This is the part of the game where I should probably also save because 
There's no way I'm gonna be able to play this game enough to get the gold back. I'm not even sure if it would spawn again, to be honest. It's like I said, we're near the end of the game. Uh, let's go ahead and save first. Go back to our room here, see if anything has changed in the meanwhile. So, the way this combat works, I have to use the greatsword anyway to chop through the shields and the bosses. And then I use the... I, when I take down their shield, they get disabled for a bit. And I push F to do a kill move, which doesn't actually kill them, but it does do a lot of damage to them. Then they regenerate shields and they do it again, rinse and repeat. Meanwhile, I'm using the other uh, weaker weapon to just take out trash uh, uh, uh. Oh, I didn't know this was here Hey, this music's really catchy. Most of the OST is actually pretty forgettable, but some of it's not that bad. In theory, the best DPS is the Twin Blades. So that's very true. Especially when you consider... Yeah. It's a lot more exciting to use this than the, uh... Or did you mean the light sword? I guess the light sword was actually really fun to use. I just haven't used it for a while because the twin blades are a lot faster. It'd be interesting going back to the twin blades after using the, uh... After using... Wait. Why is... Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You mean it... Why did... How? I've been using underpowered weapons this whole time. This thing was actually a superior... Are you fucking serious? Why did I... Go down to this thing then? <laughs> I'm dumb. That's weird. I could have been using the green ones this whole time and they would have actually been stronger than the blue ones. <laughs> but then those other weapons I found there, which are like the strongest weapons in the game, but I could only afford to build three of them, or one of them. I haven't used the light swords in a while. And unfortunately that me also means I didn't put that many skill points into them either. So even though I have like, oh, I can remove the chips just fine. I'm just concerned because if I were to go back to the light blades, I don't have the skills to use them. So I used up all my skills on useless things like melee, which is awkward to use and is just not as good as using swords and also the swords. I forgot that I purchased the uh, perfect counter too. Because I don't use guard in this game. You think the blades are just better? I mean, it's you can remove the chips at will, that's not a problem. Check this out. You can power them up with electricity damage, or you can just put stock stuff it with these chips, which gives me 52% critical. So I'm doing critical damage more than half of the time.
Also, you can put t t three chips instead of two. That's correct. I've also been using the uh, special greatsword that the game gives you for the uh, special bonus this whole time. I have no idea yet. That's why I have to decide on because after this, um, this is kind of because we're nearing the end of the game. I can only afford to build one of them. So it really depends. I using the light weapon would be cool. That's true. The only thing I really need to upgrade is the great sword. Like the only reason that I'm not switching to the light weapon, switching to the lightsaber, is because I don't, I didn't put any of my skill points into lightsaber skills. So I only took two of them: shadow step and airborne strike, which is basically Sherukin. Yeah. So this looks cool, but I can't use it as well as I can do this. Yeah. So we're going to stick with the green weapons, which have 52%. And I'm going to upgrade the heavy... Mm-hmm. And the great sword I'll be using chiefly against bosses anyway and heavy units with lots of shield and lots of armor. Wait, what's her name? Ah. Workshop owner John. What's up with that? Yeah, but you see what I mean, right? These things don't cost as much as the other super weapons you could buy from stores, but they do, but they are so much better just from attack and piercing values alone. Yeah, it's like 100 damage and 50 piercing compared to in this one. I guess this is not much of a not much of a change, is it? It's just eight more piercing and 5.4 more attack. So if we buy this one, it looks like a shark too, which is really cool. We now have a super great sword. I think this might be. I'm pretty sure this is the strongest great sword in the game. I'm gonna cry if I turn out if it turns out I'm wrong. But nope. Uh, yeah, it is. The only thing that the uh, other great this great sword has over the Godai is five percent critical, which is not really that important. Uh, indeed I can. Indeed I can. So you two put this here. Gives you... It's giving 40 lightning damage. And also I can add this freezing chip. 
to give it some ice damage as well. So not only is it a stupidly strong uh, sword, but it also does lightning and freezing damage for some reason. Meanwhile, this weapon here is actually the weapon that came with the pre-order bonus. And I gave it 52% critical because of all the chips I have gotten over the time over the course of this game. I think it's time to replace my handgun. I got plenty of money left anyway that I'm not gonna be able to burn. Okay. Bonk. Let's check out the chip story over here really quick. Hey. You can also remodel chips, but I've never really had a need to use any of this. And I also don't like how the game doesn't tell you what these chips do before you can buy them. Does since when? Okay, so it increases weapons damage, but by how much? Weapons penetration increases weapons critical by thirty percent. Greatly increases damage dealt to cryotypes, pyrotypes, and electrotypes. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. And you know, I can actually afford these things too, can't I? So, okay, fine, I guess I'll have to eat my own words. If it's a tier 1 chip. Well, I could buy a tier 1 chips for 800 each, so that's not a problem either. Once equipped, it increases a weapon's critical by 30%. I got an idea. Hey. Mm hmm. Why did I buy four of them? Fuck. Chip remodeling. I'm gonna do a pro gamer move here. Haha! -ha. I just realized I can give this thing, I can actually give this weapon like almost 100%. Yeah, I could, it doesn't do much. I don't think these actually I think these only do additional damage to enemies that are of this specific type as opposed to doing frost damage when I now that I read now that I reread this thing. But I want to do a little trolling. And give myself a hundred and put three master chips on this. Which will make it 95% critical. So almost like perfect critical. To have three frost chips and upgrade it to T2 for 30 TPS. <sighs> Let me see this. Hey. Oh, 
Oh, you're right. I could just build another frost chip. Good idea. Might as well do that. Chip remodeling. I wonder if I can just buy, if I need to look for mist type. Yeah, I was playing. That's the thing. I can only at this point I can only build one of these or one of these, and I think I want to have ninety-five percent critical. Um, instead. Which would be insane. Ah, yo, ninety five percent critical. How's that? <laughs> I wish I could build another freezing chip. I, I could also have a 30% crit on my greatsword. That's very true. As tempting as it is to just run with 95% critical on this, you actually make a good point. It's probably better to separate them. So now that has 30% and does extra damage to lightning enemies. And this one, instead, has 72%, which is also fairly high, honestly. Last but not least, I'm going to buy a better pistol, and then we'll get going. It's kind of strange that the only game, only uh, weapons you can, only um, range weapons you could have this in this game seem to be a particle cannon, a rocket launcher, and a pistol. Huh. I mean, you see sniper rifle, you see laser guns, sniper rifles, and ARs and shotguns all over the place, but you can't buy them. Just another indication that, for whatever reason. For whatever reason, it only has one more slot. That's not much of an upgrade, is it? Maybe try the 60 on the greatsword for more crit bonks and 35% on the twin blades. Do you think it'll make it easier to kill the boss enemies when they start kicking my uh, heavy enemies when they start kicking my ass? Is there any other... Now I'm curious, is there any other... Place that sells guns in this game? I don't think there is. So you go here. 
And there's a workshop there, but they don't really sell much. There's no workshop back home. Definitely none on Freeway 42. And definitely none here in the black market. Buy items here, though. Is this worth the money? Eh, we're near the end of the game anyway. Might as well. Okay. Oh, I understand. Now it's just 30%, but it's also extremely exceedingly fast anyway. The main difference between these two is that it has it's a burst option. Do I have any money left? Am I broke again? For the first time this game? 176? Yeah. I'm broke at last. Sure took a while. If I really wanted to, I could just play the Bartang minigame again until I make all my money back. Time to try the bonks. Yep, you are right. This is I th fairly sure I have the strongest sword in the game now. I think Sky A2 anyway. This flies into the air. Like a little bird. Gently and swiftly. And we're back in Noctis. Shiny new weapons. Shiny new gear. Let's go ahead and go to this... Uh, com I really wish that you can choose whether or not to keep the combat suit on. Or to keep your regular clothes on. Hi. your Nekos to buy a retro made outfit or a retro made costume or a simple sportswear costume as well. They still haven't fixed this misspelling, have they?
I love this outfit so much. I don't think there's anything else you can do in this room, which is another missed opportunity I feel like. But you look around here and there's so many custom designs characters that Hi. one has to wonder if some of these are actually backer characters. Hey Baka, welcome to the stream. You can kind of tell that this part of the game was really trying to emulate Cyberpunk. 2077. As if a lot of the game wasn't already doing that. I see this golden robot running around all over the place too. And I'm just like, that why are they all over the place? That's definitely someone so see. This officer was also another missed opportunity. I would like to have done a lot more a few more missions for her than you actually get in the game. Artificial dancers. So profound. I will use some of my cyber Nekos to purchase the retro made costume to see what it's like. It's cute. All right, time to get to back to work. What's wrong? Wait a damn second. The game did say this uh, made stress looks familiar. Not distress? What are you referring to? Why? I don't I don't I don't get it. What's this a reference to? Is this like a reference that I'm not is this another uh, video game or anime reference that I don't get? I, I literally I literally don't know what this is a reference to. From surprise if they did put in a reference and not really obscure reference like that that'd be kind of cool makes me curious what it is though Great talents, can't upgrade those just yet. Teleport us. 
The research base, area B. You won't say which? Okay. Now I'm curious though, I'm not gonna lie. You can hold your peace though. I won't judge. <laughs> I really wish the game just didn't magically change it to the combat suit when we got into a combat area though. Alright, so where should we go next? We need to find outside mission. Let's go. Since we're back here again, we might as well check this area again. Ooh. Got another AP chip here. That's Pog. It's not by Shindal, is it? There aren't that many Dojins out there that make people, like, that give people pause with regard to talking about them. Except for stuff written by Shindal. Not that one? Okay. In that case, I probably don't know what it is. <laughs> now, what can we find here? A capsule toy. A gas mask. What the fuck's going on here? What the fuck was that? Wow. That's kind of cool. We get to fight zombies and shit now, huh? Yep, that must be the red mask that they were talking that the uh, doctor that the uh, scientist was talking about in the other room. I guess we have to fight this thing. Mhm. Mm That's going to be fun. Looting more Garbage from the game. Advanced crypto key. Another limited AP chip. Work log. Log 112. Confirmed non anomalous targets presence in base reported. Confirmed level 2 security measures are going to be implemented for anti evacuation. Received command from senior supervisor. Lifted level 2 security measures. Do not pursue the priority. Return to work. Monitoring security room. Monitoring security room. Monitoring passage BL1. Confirmed abnormal sound and power security room. Heading there to investigate. And everyone's dead. Mm -hmm. Damn. We're packing. Alright. Then I cleaned out this room of useful material. Let's go upstairs now. See what's on offer over there. How do we get up there? Aha! What's over here? Regarding the handling of biological samples commissioned by Tithonus, the consortium will reevaluate samples sent 
to the test area. For individuals have normal indicators, reflexes, leadership, aggression, and other indicators, see document Sigma 142. A population survival observation and experiment boundaries will be conducted. Experiments are prohibited from excessively interfering with these samples. Still, they are regularly required to regularly record all changes to the individuals and the nature of the population. An energy battery. More garbage. Uh, monkey creatures. Yeah, interesting. They're fairly casual about that sort of stuff, aren't they? Oh. Well, at least we know where there's extra digital and to pick up by feel the need for it in the near future. In this room. All right. So these areas have been cleaned out. Time to go towards the right again. We still need to find the boss. Or the um, secret bosses. I should say. Oh, shit. I thought I killed myself for a second there. That guy is still nuts. Ow, what the fuck? Oh my god, I killed him in only two hits. And this is wild. And that one I killed in one hit. I am too powerful now. I've, we've broken the game. We do too much critical damage. We literally can't... We just kill things by looking at them now. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. No wonder the game only gives you enough gold for, to buy... To build one of those weapons. Alright, so now that I saved, let's go back here and finish cleaning these rooms out. This map's hard to read. Alright, I think we go out here. City. Oh, before we go, we can actually increase our talents one more time. And increase kill plus. There we go. And does it more damage now? Still can't access that. Fine, I guess we'll have to go back. There's some more rooms there we haven't explored yet.
Right there. So many dead bodies there were. Access is still denied. And it's not gonna let me jump that very easy gap from over there. My guess is we have to go up there and we get a key card and we go through there and we go through there. Okay. We have a plan of action now. You know, I saw some people on the Steam forums asking where these bo this mini-boss fight is supposed to be. And all people would tell them is, make sure you search every single room. And I know that it's one of these climbable things that's really hard to- that's really easy to miss. So it made me curious, where is it? It's probably in the next set of rooms, actually. Like over here. But we need to be thorough. Alright. At least there's a lot of places to buy digital. Uh, what the fuck is this room? Oh my goodness. Check this out. That's kind of cool. Beats the shit out of me, honey. Kinda looks freaky though, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Some there's a big thing floating in the background. And it looks angry. Oh shit. Okay, I did not expect that. Not gonna lie. Oh my god. Is this a dead end? What happened here? Oh shit, it's coming for us. Big ball of fuck you. Oh shit, it's uh, AoE is really large too. Who knows what happened in this area? Oh shit, oh crap, 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 ow, 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 fuck. I think I understand now why there's so much, so many healing items in this area. That's nasty. Ow! Okay, so this part I need to. Okay. Oh, shit. Ow. Also... Can't crap it because backpack's full. Okay, great. Yeah, we've got to be more careful. 
Yeah, man, it's a fucking horror ball. Uh, get it? A horror ball? <laughs> uh, uh, that's a terrible joke. There's so many Gritolins scared about. That can just. Like, why did he even bother buying the Ritalin if there's just so many? Oh my fuck! Oh, that was a terrible idea. I almost fell to my doom just then. Or at least to, you know, fucking myself out of some cool stuff. What's in here? More digital in. Shit, man, there's so much of it. So many healing items. It's almost as if the game is preparing us for something. What? Preparing us for another fight? Nah. Say it ain't so. Not again. Not again. Oh, crap. Oh, it's warping the game. It's actually making the game lag like crazy. What the fuck? Oh my crap! Jesus Christ! What the fuck is this? It also makes this creepy noise too. The game's fucking, fucking shit! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? What the shit? It's actually warping the game itself. What? How do I how do I get in past this thing? Come on. What the fuck? Um, I don't know. I don't know how to get past that. What the fuck? Oh, you're supposed to roll past it. Okay. Ouch. God damn it. Okay, again, once more. This is actually hard. What the shit? I like how, as I get close to you, it actually starts warping the game. Woo! Oh my god, it's still going after us. It's still going after us. Uh, there's nothing there, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Finally, we lost it. Hope that's the last of Horrible. Yeah, something yeah. tells me it's not. Let's see what's next. Okay. Hopefully. This should be the resource department. Looks like we have a lot of rooms to search. Secret organizations really like colored doors. Yeah, no shit, right? I hope I didn't miss out a chance to... I hope I didn't miss out the chance to uh, complete the last side quest because of that... because of running away from the horror ball. I need to look up on the Steam for the Steam guides. Cool, another one of these puzzles. That one was fairly easy, what the hell? Okay. Fairly simple.
Huh. Another golden uh, circuit board. Fog. Gers. There's no more going back this part. Let's try floor two now. Let's, uh... Here's a save point. I'm assuming there must be a teleport room around here somewhere because it's giving me all these uh, equipment drop, all these uh, material drop, math drops again. Metallic arachnid like creature cause great chaos and destroy 40% of consortium's installations. Ooh. So that's what happened. Basically, they are fucking around with interdimensional portals, like in Half Life. Accidentally caused a a metallic, metan organic metallic, uh, giant monster to invade our realm. They sent another person to fight it and to render it motionless, and then they stored it underground in their underground base for society thing. Unfortunately, it ended up just fucking over the world in the process. Hey, check it out! We might actually be able to build another super weapon because of all these golden materials I'm finding. Only problem is I'm broke now. Oh, he's dead. Particle ammo, huh? Which means the particle gun must be here somewhere. It's probably in one of the hidden rooms. Speak of the devil. Nobody messes with us now. I bet even horrible can't survive this. It's a particle cannon. I'm a fire in my laser. Shoop the whoop. Yeah, has 91 piercing. What else do we got here? 
There's a giant shotgun there, too. In fact, this must be... This is the weapon armory. Look at all this cool shit. Unfortunately, we can't use any of it. Like, for instance, thermal electro grenades. We only have one kind of grenade that you can actually buy. Johnson gun. Grows back ammo. <sighs> Strange notices. But it looks like there are supplies over there. Bros? So, this thing never runs out of ammunition. That's kind of cool. Does this thing not just, just not run out of ammo? Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming you're talking about the particle gun, but then again, I did just pick up particle gun ammo, so it's probably not this, is it? It looks like it only has three shots, too. Actually, I better save this... Because we don't know how much ammunition it has. Instead, we'll keep these around. We'll use the uh, pistol, burst pistol ammo for now. Based. Go to floor two now. Wait, I already read this. What the fuck? Hey, a cyber neko. I think we're getting close. I know it's around the, uh... Interesting. What's going on over here? Another one, we might be able to build, if we get some more money, we actually might be able to build a 
Better another uh, super weapon, chat. The fuck's going on here? This must be Melissa. Oh god, oh fuck is right. This is so cool though, I like the way- I have a feeling that they spent the majority of their time and budget on the end stages of the game, like this. Because you could see there's incredible amount of effort put into it. Making sure... Alright. Now for a third floor. More blood vines. Yeah, that's it. Disappointing. Paracord. Are we missing any places? There's one left, right? Just that. Okay, there's only one left, and it's over there in the far corner. But there's also an entrance down there for some reason. So why is that one not open? Or I just missed it somehow. Let me save first and then we'll check it out. Okay, so this is just one of the Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's the... Oh, well, that was a waste of my... Damn it. I fucked up. I used the wrong button. I'm reloading a save, actually. Because of my fuck up. Okay, so let's go ahead and re-equip re the particle cannon. Which now has 91. I wonder if that would happen if I went through the top entrance instead. Oh. I actually cannot enter the uh, top section from here. It's blocked off. Never mind. So I guess we are going through the bottom. Here we go. Yes, it teleported. That big ball of fuck you has teleported. And it's coming right this way. I have just warped it out of existence.
Yeah. Got an achievement for that. Awesome. Based even. There's only two shots left in this gun now. See? Now we have to thoroughly search this area. Right, Biobrain. More digital in. No room in my inventory for any more digital in. <laughs> Gotta make sure that we don't miss this. I don't know. Ah, I wonder. Here it is. I found it. This is where the hidden boss is. It's in this... It's really easy to miss this part, too. But before we go there, let's go ahead and save. I almost fell to my death again, it looks like. Can't go through there. I'm actually going to go use the restroom really quick, Chad. I'll be right back. I'm back. Did you miss me? All right. Let us continue our journey to darkest cyberpunk. <laughs> Hello to you too, Chris. Oh! Why did I fucking do that? Oh, what? Wait, 
Wait, what the fuck? Turn last, last checkpoint. Fuck that. Let's do this again. Maybe I was wrong. I guess this is not the finale after all. We still... This section is much longer than I anticipated. I mean, it just kind of felt like it because we're, on, we're done with all the side quests. We weren't even that hard. My fucking god. Game. What what are you doing? Don't fuck with me, come on. Okay. Thought so. What is this place? The teleportation tech must have brought us here. Check that out. A black hole into nothingness. Pretty sure this is the secret boss fight room. There's even a corn man here. Yeah. I love you, corn man. Ah, here's the save point. Just some just as planned, or just on time. Need one more. Here we go. We got half an hour left of stream. We're going to finish it off with another boss battle. Uh, an ice lover, huh? Do you tell? Caster and Pollux, except this time it's Caster and Melissa. Some of these people are still alive, but they look like they're worse for wear. They're just sort of mumbling to themselves here, for no reason. Now, what in blazes is that? Techno-organic shit going on here? You got a woman over here, too. Oh, what's up for them? Current stage of the experiment cannot confirm the spatial coordinates of the passage exit. Multiple sets of data are needed for accuracy and eventually to have and eventually to have the data finalized. After urban sampling and transport, the input coordinates are finally fixed in a specific range of values. Number of samples outside the bay 16. Number of damage samples 26. Number of lost samples 3. What's behind this door? Oh, this is totally not a boss room, is it? It totally is. A 
What's up? C sent you here? Patience. It's still being tested. Who is C? And who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Utterly pathetic. Such ignorance needs to end. Off you go. Just casually throws you into a tele into a portal. <laughs> Drive. Hey, Ace, welcome to the stream. Suddenly, there's sand and stones. What the? Turns out I was wrong. Place. There's no way I'm gonna What's be able to finish this game tonight. Hey. Oh shit. We're in the Fate Stay Night universe, everyone. Defeat Melissa. See, does this character not just reek of backer reward to you? I don't know about you, but this kind of seems like a backer reward to me. Oh shit. What the fuck is going on with that? Oh my god. Ow. You bitch, stop throwing shit at me. I mean, this is a cyberpunk game, and now we got magics and shit. Fucking ice mage. Ow, fucking. Ow. Ow. You know what? I would be happy if the game was just 90% of this combat. This is actually, this is like the highlight of the game. God say though, changing or upgrading my weapons before going on this mission, on this journey. Really decrease the difficulty level. Ow, oh, fuck me. I say as I continue to die. Game over, Cal. Oh, damn it. Come at me, bro. Uh, it actually worked. You can just leave it to me, Melissa. Step aside. Ooh, I'll handle double her. boss battle. This will be a great chance to experiment. <laughs> Allow me to send you through a one-way portal to hell. I guess my understanding is that the combat was bad on release, along with a lot of other things, but right now the combat's great. What's happening? Something's wrong. It's really fluid, very fun. That bastard. He tricked me. Scumbag. Whoops, he just got bored by a black hole. As a reminder, this whole boss battle and this whole sequence of, event of events was completely optional. This is a side mission, believe it or not. The big suck. I wonder if it's going to change the ending, because there's apparently a good ending and a bad ending in this game. Yeet. 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 Just fucking yeets them into the middle of nowhere. <laughs>
What the fuck is happening? This game is all over the place sometimes, I swear to god. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't I don't get it sometimes. This game is just so fucking all over the place sometimes. It <laughs> This is supposed to be serious too. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this game is so weird. I think he's screaming in Korean or some other language anyway. That is not definitely not English. So yeah, they've just been sent through a portal into God knows where. Derp. And I've only met these characters like like a few minutes ago, right? That's the other thing. This game has terrible pacing. And you don't really care about most people because they just sort of come and go. But it's just fun. All what the obstacles fuck? obstacles have been cleared. Time to uncover your true destiny. One second. I'll be right back, chat.
sorry for the wait chat parents just got back from the airport and they had a hell of an adventure so I was bringing them back in and debrief and being debrief on what happened in their trip to Europe anyway it's getting late so let's go ahead and continue one second Now where was I? Let's continue from where we left off. As a reminder, this was actually a side quest that we did, believe it or not. This is not part of the main plot at all. It does make me curious though. I don't know what's gonna happen after this, where we are. I guess it's not finale after all. I honestly thought it would end by now. Also, we're floating in the air right now. <laughs> Fucking raw. I'm kind of curious. Do you think that they intended to make this level? Because this feels like the sort of thing where... This feels like a sort of thing where it's like, Hey, we have all these extra unity assets. What should we do with them? Oh, just throw them in there as a extra mission for, to, for the players to do. Fuck it. Also, it appears that my... Hands are broken again. Let me restart my leap motion camera really quick. And yeah, there's no way. It's quite obvious. It's clear now that we're not going to be able to finish this tonight, unfortunately. Which, to be honest, I'm kind of upset about. But, eh, whatever. Thank you all for coming for continuing to come to Monday's stream. I hope that this has been entertaining for you, uh, at the very least. Where was I? Oh yeah. Let's take a look, quick look around this place first before we continue. Oh, that fucking texturing is terrible. So pixely. Mondays are pretty brutal, yeah. I can't... I can hear you, Ayane. I'm all good. You had me so... I searched the whole area and couldn't find your signal. I went through some kind of gate and ended up in a completely different place. Just ruins. Somewhere outside. I was attacked by two people. They both came after me, then suddenly got sucked into another portal. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. I was so frightened. Weird thing is... I think the masked woman mentioned them. My head is spinning. Uh, as long as you're safe and everything is good. I wonder if this is the last thing I need to do to get the best ending of the game because um, the masked woman said that all the obstacles were gone. Hey, look, a cyberneco. Portals reached the level of stability, so I made a direct link to the family's mansion, or what's left of it anyway. That way I have a place to put Melissa where she's at ease without causing trouble, and finally a place where I can do some god f damn thinking, which for some reason is censored. This is a mature raid stream, chat, don't you forget it. Lately, the bureaucrats have been putting all kinds of sedate specimen in my workplace, yuck. Thought of father while looking at the family mansion ruins, the old fart ruined us and blamed me. See, he's getting on my fucking nerves. Him and that damn ultra-dimensional spear or whatever it is. He should focus on my scientific breakthroughs instead of creating portals to bizarre worlds. And all based on some kind of superstitious ancient text. Does he not know how much science is progressing sin? Nitwit. Although, I must admit, if C is correct, then the potential power of that spear combined with my portals is huge. It could lead to a huge increase in... Okay, let's not get carried away. 
What remains is waiting for C's scheme to work out so that the project scroll can be linked with my portal tech. I can finally show the world the price of having ignored me. Finally show father I'm not a failure. Entry 1488. Everything is going according to plan, but I think C is losing it. I saw him talk to Supervisor G and I think they found out what he's trying to do. He told me about his countermeasures to keep them busy involving a red horrible. <laughs> And an absolutely ghastly reptile thing they keep downstairs. I don't really care about some of these bureaucrats kicking the bucket, but if shit hits the fan, good thing I've got my portals ready. Now you're thinking of portals. Finally stable enough to keep it, to make sure I keep it permanently open. Great for the project and also fixes my homesickness issues that I might have had. I know Melissa feels at home there, and that's good enough for me. I better hurry up. Time is pressing. I need to show more progress soon. Alright, so... The story so far, I get the- they were fucking around with portals or something. Accidentally summoned a eldritch being from nowhere. Which destroyed this part of the world. And they create- they are... Using the portals by use by turning people into these little vectors for portal energy. And, um... Hi, Yuriki. How are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Alright. So, that's out of the way. Um, let me check something really quick. Completed missions. Aha! See? Side missions completed. 22 out of 22. We have completed every single side mission in the game. I have maxed out my armor. And then Increase that too. Can't afford that. But there you go, chat. At the very least, we finished all the side quests finally in this game. Gonna save here. We still got about 10 minutes. I'm not really sure if we should continue or what do we have here? So we've got three golden chips here. If I find two more, I can build another super weapon. But the problem is I'm broke star for cash. So it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I wonder how much farther I can get with this, actually. Let's at least finish the research base, I guess. Oh, shit! is insane. I'm just chopping the shit out of these things. I actually didn't realize I was taking damage until just now. 300 damage. Check this shit out. This is actually unfair. Awesome. Oh, check out this. It's this. Oh, there's two of them. How cute. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. And he's dead. Unsupported family and all? I'm sorry to hear that. Any particular reason they're unsupported? That seems like something... Uh... Well, that one's dead. I mean, you don't need to talk about it if you don't want to. We just need... Yeah, no shit, Ayane. Of course it's not safe here. I just got attacked by, like, 
two dozen people. Unfortunately for them, I was the one that was unsafe, not them. Wait. Yeah, that I, what I said made sense, I think. That was correct English, I'm fairly certain. Right? Um, yes. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, let us continue exploring this area. Hmm. Ooh! Check it out, chap. We can actually make another legendary weapon. I had told him that I got a job interview at a convenience store and they're not supportive of it. Why? That's a great thing. You got another job. Yo. <laughs> I guess he had a breakup with his bro, huh? Alright, let's uh, save this here. We're gonna actually... You know what? Before we continue, let's go ahead and head back outside. And let's go ahead and craft one more thing of... One more weapon. Because we're... I mean, we're, it's not enough. We're, we're not op enough, right? We need to become obnoxiously op. As overpowered as humanly possible. Yeah. Are they even... They're not... They're not, like, thinking that that job is... That you're too good for that job or anything, are you? My parents are like that sometimes, too. Or at least my mom was. She was like, you got a degree. You shouldn't be working in a fast food restaurant. Now, to be fair, I would not trade my current job for anything short of becoming a streamer, maybe? A full-time streamer that can that makes enough money to pay for my benefits that I really get through working from home. But besides that... Work is work. Money is money. They should be glad that you even have a job. Over here in the States, it's becoming difficult as fuck to get hired. And inflation's fucking over our... Uh, inflation is completely fucked over our economy. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you get that job. Since you got an interview and everything. I'm sure you'll be fine though, since you already got job experience. Labor shortage in Canada, jobs are easy to get. <laughs> the, our problem is, no one is... For some reason, either the employers are being too picky with who they employ because they're offering $15 an hour starting wage, or people don't want their, or people don't want their jobs. Because everywhere I go, they're having a serious labor shortage here. For God knows what reason. go back to $15 is minimum wage here. I think our minimum wage got raised to like 12 or something. I forget. It's no longer $7, I don't think. It might be for some professions. I'm fairly sure that fast food, that um, people who work in restaurants still make at minimum $2 an hour. Or, you know, wood tips, of course. That could have changed, though. I could be wrong. Tips are still important for them. I know in my state, I'm fairly sure minimum wage is up to eight at least. Something like that. Two dollar big ones. <laughs> I wonder if Alan's down here somewhere. Gauge. Dismantle items. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah. I can craft another one of these. And of course I'm going to have to craft I'm going to have to craft this one. Because I don't use the regular light sword.
I do end up, I'm gonna laugh if I do end up getting five more golden chips somehow. So I can craft all of them. That'd be sweet. Working is never easy. Well, let me take that back. Working can be easy, quote unquote, but it's never like... Just don't take it for granted, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck am I saying? I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> hey, wait. This is just a green version of... Oh, you did not. Come on, devs. You Please you tell me you didn't just reskin the fucking... Really? Wow. Such redesign. Yeah, whatever. Game's great. I can't complain. Well, the game is not great. It's not bad either. It's enjoyable. In spite of its mu multitude of issues. And that's something to be celebrated, I suppose. Use the calibra AP calibration kit for extra piercing. All right, I think I have the two most powerful weapons in the game. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly sure I'm not wrong. Let me read back with let me read back chat really quick. I don't know. They just like oh the job won't be easy. You're gonna have to deal with dragging heavy load and dealing with junkards. Yeah, probably, but that's just life. It's not like you can do much when you're a high schooler. And if you're in America, they do sell alcohol at gas stations, which is weird. Is it? It depends on the state. It Actually, it depends. In my state, they sell alcohol in the gas stations. Sometimes they don't even have a liquor curfew. Some states actually don't allow that. You can only buy liquor in designated liquor stores that have, you know, liquor licenses. Gas stations, I'm pretty sure I need to purchase a... I'm pretty sure... Every place, even gas stations or restaurants, have to purchase a liquor license to even sell liquor. But different states have different laws on who is allowed to sell them. I could literally just walk over to the gas station next to my house and buy some booze if I wanted to. But it's going to be fairly expensive, so why bother? Oh, what was I doing again? Alright. It's been three hours but let's go ahead and complete the research base and then i'll call it a night how's that sound we're not going to stop just yet it's only midnight the night is young to be fair mayday wants you to live out a fun filling youth while you still have the opportunity to you know it's also a possibility there is one point where i felt like society was trying to push people into the uh, gr grind into the Sigma grind set at younger and younger ages so that they have less and less of a childhood to look back on. That was not depressing as shit, but yeah, that's true. Alright, uh, teleports back to research area B. This is the only time when you don't have to aside from retirement. <laughs> Imagine getting to retire. I might get to. I've saved money like an asshole. I save money all over the place. And by save, I mean I'm not allowed to touch the money. I literally cannot touch the money until I'm 65. So it's actually being saved, saved. Sounds plausible in hindsight, though. However, I just don't find much things fun. I pretty much stay at home and sad during vacation. I worked and I felt good about it. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, why am I here? I'm in the wrong direction again, right? Should go back to... Where am I? Oh... That's what this location is. Okay.
More Ritalin. Your work has an unbeatable pension. I'm going to retire by 50. Uh huh, that's cool. I would love to retire at young, if not younger. I feel like if I do have anything approaching a goal, my first goal would be to not to have to work as little as possible, to reach a point where I have to work as little as possible. I think I work as little as possible. And then after that, um, I'll think of something else to do with my life. I don't know. I still have the desire to become you should be the research facility's exit. to just live off riding. Central intelligence? Wait, why central? Is this another fucking puzzle? It is, isn't it? It's a elevator puzzle. Woo! Oh shit. More. Poor Dr. Person. I guess he died for science? Died for science. Oh, access card on him, though. I guess we. Oh shit. Um. So we just fall? We don't even get the chance to... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Hey, look! It's that beast from the very beginning of the game. Unfortunately for you, buddy... I upgrade all of my weapons to the max, to the strongest weapons in the game. Yes, has an SCP. Can't live off writing, we don't publish anything, I swear to God, send the files. Those files are 10 years out of date. I need to rewrite all of them from the ground up. Oh, shit, it does 120 damage per hit. What the fuck is that? Um. Wow. Finally! A worthy adversary. Ow. Oh. I'm dumb. Huh? What the fuck did I do? Oh, no way. Bad dog. Bad. See, this is what- this combat is great. You could make an entire game just based off of this alone. So I'm glad, even though the rest of the game feels like a large collection of ideas, none of which were given the proper time and care to be made awesome, the combat for sure is awesome. Like, without a doubt. It's almost dead. My weapons are so disgustingly broken. Bruh, I totally just falcon punched that. Oh my god. Ta-da! Oh, it's still alive. What the fuck? That would have been a... That would have been an awesome, awesome screenshot moment just then. Wait, isn't that the lizard from Alan's combat simulation? Yes, it is. Must be one of his experiments, I guess. It's still alive.
It's nothing personal, kid. Weren't there some scientists up here who were watching the fight just now? A gigantic reptile shares a law of biological characteristic with the lizard. It's also referred to as Varanus. The variant has the ability to penetrate and lurk in various matter disease. That's kind of fucked up. So those weren't like design. It was actually designed to phase through matter. That's kind of, that's really crazy. Because it has been contained in highly concentrated acid liquid, MZ-10C, its body is started to store storing the acid which it can now use as a weapon. Security forces responsible for 6802500D need to be equipped with acid resistant protecting. Isn't this an SCP? This is totally based off the SCP, isn't it? Like straight up. Well, that's fucking cool. Why are they wearing Santa hats though? That was very bizarre. They were wearing Santa hats. Ooh. Another cutscene, maybe? Oh, okay. There's a vending machine down here with a bunch of hot dogs in it. Uh, why are they wearing Santa hats, though? Does this happen in Christmas? Is that what's going on here? So weird. Let's look for that monkey in a lab coat. So many dead bodies everywhere though. I guess they don't have very good they don't have a very good health plan, do they? I wonder what the turnover must be like for this company. Okay. So that looks like the exit. It goes all the way down to the next section, but I want to go to that red door over there. That's the only part of this area that I have not explored yet. The only problem is I need to figure out how to get down there. Oh, how convenient. Now we can actually go back the way we came if we so wished. It's a lot easier to escape that way. But I still want to go to those two sections there. But how? How do I get over there? How do I get over... Oh! There we go. Cool. So we can't get over there now. And go here instead. And we go over here. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> and we go through this door over here. Oh, spooky. Those are not destructible. The fuck is this? This is new. Is there gonna be another boss fight here or something?
Particle ammo. So more particle ammo. Okay. Cool. Hog. That liquid is probably dangerous, so we're going to avoid that. I said we're going to avoid that. The liquid is not dangerous. Okay. An armory with more guns. More particle ammo. Sample equipment handling code. Do not bring samples to restrooms. Do not sneak a sample weapon onto a security bot to test its effectiveness. Do not use sample weapons to open doors. Do not use sample weapons to damage your office for funds. Do not take sample weapons out of the sample equipment showroom. Do not use a modified sample weapon for a hot pot in the showroom. Do not breach this code. Yeah, I could tell that they spent the majority of their development time on this part of the game. It just has the most polish so far, out of everything we played so far. Missile ammo and particle gun ammo. Missile ammo and pistol rounds. The people who designed this game are such gooby goobers. It's actually kind of charming, honestly. Is there anything else here of worth I can check out? No? Let's so checked upstairs. Okay. Is there anything else? I'm in oh, wait, there is one more room. Okay. It looks like a dorm room. Some fresh fruit. Some garbage. Interesting. Oh, okay, the gross red stuff drove everyone fucking insane. Interesting. Funny how she just started, casually started walking away from the area as the giant red thing, as the red thing appeared. Peek the horror. This game is all over the place with its uh, pacing and genre. So we start off with your typical cyberpunk story, and then we got the Magical Witch Girl, and then we got freaking. SCPs and this whatever the hell this thing is It's really all over the place But you know what I respect it The story is all over the fucking place, but it's um When it works it works I guess Check this shit out Bones Like, what are we- what do we even use these bones for? Alright. Everything has been- I think I've looted everything in this area.
Now we must return. I really like this system they have in place too for uh, getting from room to room. Let's check to make sure we covered everything. All right, I think we've cleaned out this base thoroughly. Let's see where this leads. I believe this goes to central intelligence or whatever. I checked how many mesh, how many, how long this game is. It turns out this is not the last map. Probably third to last. Maybe even later than that, honestly. Oh, it's this asshole again. Listen, these people took the kid. Don't think this will stop me. I still have. Oh, he's going hey, nuts. What's wrong? You force scum. Oh man. Oh my God, he's morbid out. He's starting to morb. He's morbing out. It's morbin time. It appears we are in the central administration zone, chat. Lucky us. When archive does not change color for 0.3 seconds, or when losing sight of archive, or if when archive makes any abnormal sound, or when the person enters the room of archive and stays for more than 1.3 seconds, or when three males and one female pass the entrance to archive's room at the same time. What the fuck? Immediately activate level 3 security for the research base, lock all operable doors, deny all personnel's access, and pressurize heat up all sealed security passages or fill them with water. The area supervisor should use the Passage for quick relocation and immediately submit the work logger. What is this consortium? Yeah, I thought the consortium was supposed to be like the people that run this country or whatever now. This seems kind of bizarre. The more I play this game, the crazier I go. Hey, look, it's Corn Man. It's the man with the corn. And he sells the strongest weapons in the game, too. Which I just bought already, so there's no point. I could also combine these things to make more particle ammo, more missile ammo, and more pistol rounds. Can't buy that much though, which is part of the problem. And particle ammo is kind of expensive, it's the other problem. And by kind of, I mean extremely expensive. You're fucking Morbin? Is it Morbin time? You bet your ass. Hi! Wow. These guys, like, have this love hate relationship that goes back and forth constantly. Let's check our equipment. Let's see, nine grenades, three rutilins, two corn, large corn juices, and a thing of lidocaine cream. Another charger. Another cracked motherboard. At this rate, I'm gonna end, at this rate, I'm gonna end up buying all three of the legendary weapons, I swear to God. The Council's resolution dictated that the ARC transfer plan should be implemented in parallel. The plan consists of three stages, search, screening, and transport. Current stage, research for a new continent. Result failed. Retained samples. Survivors in the two sample ARCs have all become mentally disordered. Important files in the ARCs were lost. Follow-up actions. Keep the smaller ARC and transfer it to Consortium Space A. Abandon the larger ARC in C2, the place of departure. Empty all data carriers and re-import false data as the smokescreen. Cover up the consortium's traces and eliminate the impacts on society. What the fuck was the consortium doing? God, these guys are incompetent, aren't they? 
And that's probably a save room over there. Yep, it's another save room. Mystery upon mystery. How mysterious. Do I dare spend my points on... Nah. Didn't need it before. Why would I need it now? Might as well spend it in the backpack. So I can buy more corn juice. Am I right? Don't need that. I almost never use the shield in this game. Reduces particle channel charge time. These seem useful. <laughs> Alright, so now that we saved up, we did save, right? Yeah, we saved. Let's go explore this here. Wait. Should we take a break here now, chat? It's we it's um twelve twenty-three right now. I'm curious. I need to refresh my Duolingo uh re my uh streak freezes in Duolingo. That's weird. It says here I already did Mondays. Hmm. Alright then. You're falling asleep over here? Yeah, it's fair. I really stream this late anymore for obvious reasons. It's clear now that the game is that we're in another section of the game. It just didn't seem like a different transition because of the way it's structured. So I guess we're not going to complete the game tonight. We'll have to continue this next Monday. Uh, let's go ahead and stick around for the raid if y'all would like some free channel points. I wonder if we should stream Cyberpunk 2077 someday. Let's go ahead and see who is awake right now. Professor Tetsuo is streaming again. But he had a debut earlier today. Doing double duty, I see, huh? For those of you who don't know, Professor Tetsuo actually had his debut, his official debut today with his new with his new live 2D avatar. It's actually fairly good. Let's go ahead and say hello to him, shall we? Should be a comfy way to end the evening. No problem. See you later, Ace. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks once again to all of you all for coming to tonight's stream. Five viewers. This is the most we've had for Anno Mutationum in a while. Our raid message, as always, is going to be some variation of Lull's, Lull's raid with, your, with emotes of your choice. Yeah. See ya, Chris. Thanks for coming by. Here we go. Raiding now. Uh, hi, Raiders. Welcome. Hi, Lulz. 